Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for beginners. This is part 5 of the series and in today's episode we are going to learn about the responsive utilities provided by Bootstrap. What do we mean by responsive layouts? It means our application layout will adapt, will respond to different various device screen resolutions. If you are building an application, you expect it to work beautifully on all devices be it a mobile, be it iPad, be it desktop, be it extra large screen or extra small screen. So we will learn what are the utility responsive classes which are available in Bootstrap through which we can easily customize and build beautiful responsive layouts. Let's get started. This is Bootstrap, Bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I am planning around 40 hands-on tutorials for you in this series which will help you learn and master Bootstrap 5. All right, so this is part five of the episode. Uh, if you have missed out on the previous episodes where I covered about layouts, grids, designing grids, please do check out those uh, episodes also so you have a continuity in your learning. All right, so just a quick uh, touch base on overview before we jump into hands-on coding. So Bootstrap Grid, the grid allows up to 12 columns in a particular row, right? And Bootstrap will provide uh, provides a lot of utility classes for various screen resolutions like SM, which stands for small, XS, extra small, medium, large, Excel, right? So these are the different screen sizes that Bootstrap supports. In Bootstrap 5, it's also supporting XXL, which is extra, extra large. Now, each row can have up to 12 columns. That's what we learned in the previous episodes. So today we will learn, use them, put them to work. Also, we will use the responsive utility classes, which is uh, call hyphen SM for small devices, MD, large, Excel, and all those, right? So let's get started uh, with some of the hands-on examples. So today's code, uh, I will be coding. And so let me do this and say layout.html, nothing, just a simple HTML blank page. And what I will do is I will go here to the docs and I am going to copy the basic template, which is the starter template, right? So this has nothing but just the HTML code, the basic doc type, HTML head section body. So grab that and let's get started now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, a grid layout uh, and using cards uh, today and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say first I'm going to put an outer container and I'm going to say fluid, right? Fluid layout, which means it will be 100%. Then I'm going to design a row, right? So this is a row. And the best way of always commenting it out is you put like this and put dot slash the class name. So that way you know which is ending where, right? So this is a good style of commenting that you will find in most standard practice. All right, so now that we have the row, let's go ahead, create a class, right? And here I'm going to say call MD3, right? So I'm saying on medium devices, it should be three, three width. And then let's, so one other important thing that we can also do is just to show you how beautifully we can work with layouts. Uh, I'm going to copy a basic template uh, for now. This is a card template. Don't worry about too much about how to use it now because I'm going to show you how to use it. So inside this um, MD call three, uh, I'm going to put copy to clipboard and I have the card, right? So this is just a basic card, nothing fancy. So now let's get started. So inside this, I'm saying it's MD3, right? So that's what I'm saying that it's for MD3. That means occupy three columns on medium devices. Let's copy paste it multiple times, right? Now let's open it in Chrome, right? So this is how we see. So I am going to remove the image because we don't have the images we don't need. Uh, we are trying to learn the aspect of grids. We'll, we'll come back to the cards, then we'll do images also, responsive images. So here, get rid of all the images so that, all righty. So, so we are done. Okay, so let's go back, refresh. So you see, now I have the grid cards which are here. Uh, I need some spacing here, right? So let's give some spacing. So what we are going to do for each of these cards, we are going to say padding bottom two. 
right so you see the gap here right so you see the gap um, or you can make it a little bit more if it's that this is much readable right so go ahead use that pb4 in all the cards so that way each of the cards will have a padding bottom of four all right so you can see this is how the grids or layouts or sections in a page are created how easy it is right so now this looks so good now let me add some quick styling i'm not uh, going to use any fancy styling for now instead i will keep it very basic um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use inline styling and i'm going to say body right so i'm here i'm saying background color should be gray right so now see so i've added gray color right so we can even make it little right or maybe f5 should solve f5 f5 right so it has a slight uh, gray background and white color cards it there should be some gap from the top right so uh, we can add that to the row itself and say padding top should be four right so there is gap now right all right so we might want to throw in a quick heading right that makes sense so and say welcome to grid layouts come to responsive right so we have the title here now that also i want to be so padding top should be four so we have it here now there is a space right so looks good it looks decent enough right so now what we want to do we want to shrink it right so now you see when i shrink it it doesn't look that great right it's not it's not clearly occupying the space right so if you see in the mobile devices or smaller dev responsive layouts it's not that elegant there is a lot of white space left out here so what we are going to do we are going to refactor this code and now we are going to say this should occupy or say 12 in smalls 12 means it should be 100 percent right and in medium it should occupy four so see how i'm progressing right and i'm saying in the small in the large devices it should be three right three column width four column width on medium devices and 12 on small right that means occupy 100 percent when it's small right so let's copy this all over right so i'm going to to find and replace this right so here i'm going to replace it with this and all instances okay so okay so now i've added that let's see so see now it is three column right so what's happening let's see here again column okay i did not add it here to this okay so let's see so now this is a large screen that's why it's occupying three column width and that's why you see four here now let me show you what happens when you shrink it right so if to when you want to test it on mobile device in chrome you will see this option right click on this toggle device you see here you click on it you will see options here and it will show you that how will it look on an ipad so it would look like this it on iphone it would look like this on google galaxy it would look like this on ipad pro it looks like this right so so this is how uh, the alignment is looking on desktop similarly you can start reducing the size right and you would see slowly it will keep gradually adapting to different resolutions right so you can inspect here and change here and say ipad right so here you see in ipad it says uh, now i'm going to give a margin right so that there is space between all of this so here what i'm going to do for each of this i'm saying margin is two right so along with padding bottom i am giving margin two alternatively you can give a class name and give custom margins but i am going by the standard utility classes which is margin two four right so now we have it here now let's see how it looks right so margin is not really helping us so what we'll do 
so you go about customizing right so basically it's all about customization getting things in place right all right so what we can also do here is okay so this width is 18 so i'm going to make it um let's say let's fix the width to 15 or 12 right so or maybe 15 is better so design is nothing but only fixing it if you see now it's getting aligned correctly right so design is all about spending time in pixels right so spend some time in customizing it's interesting it's uh, amazing you will wonder how much you are in, you will be interested in designing like this so now you see it's looking much better on ipad also now so you keep building it like this for each of the responsive layout but important lessons that you just learned is if you see this grid so see now in the small it's taking this right uh, so i'm going to remove this width of the totally of the cards so since i'm using now responsive utility classes i don't want to give style width at all so get rid of the style width so see design is evolving right and that exactly is the core principle of bootstrap designing or any uh, design job that you will work with it's evolving it will be iterating right so see now it is taking 100 percent on small right now you open it it is good now let's see it will all be aligned beautifully so in ipad it looks so much nice now see now in iphone 8 it looks it it's 100 percent occupied in galaxy 5 also it's 100 percent in ipad it's occupying three and then surface it's occupying 100 percent again moto g4 it's occupying 100 percent right so that's how we can achieve any responsive design for our application using the utility classes which is here which is column sm column md lg excel we can also write a lot of media queries like saying that if the screen resolution is less than 576 if the resolution is uh, greater than 768 how it should behave we can customize that we'll learn that as we progress in the series but now you would have got a fair bit of an idea of how uh, responsive layouts work and design works all right so that completes us um, on this particular uh, episode but in the next episode i'm going to extend this example and do a live project uh, using grid example and show you how real-time applications and layouts are done Again, we'll not be able to build entire thing, but you will get a fair bit of idea how to go about your business on that. All right. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're liking the series, liking the tutorial. If you do, please give a thumbs up, do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.